Hey everyone, I wanted to give you all a review today on a brand that when I tell you the name of it, y'all are going to be like, what brand is that? That's what my grandmother used to use or my mother or maybe you've never even heard of it. But the brand I'm talking about is Merle Norman and the product is their Ultra Powder Foundation. Now I'm here to tell you that I have been using this product since I was 16 years old and I'm 26 now. So. It's not something that I got influenced really to use here on YouTube. It's not popular or whatever, but it works. And so I felt like sharing it with you all because I feel like this brand just does not get enough recognition. Um, a lot of people associate this with an older generation, and it has been around for a long time, and some of their products are probably geared towards an older generation like Estee Lauder does or whatever, but they've got some really good products, and I just... I feel like no one ever talks about it on YouTube, but this powder foundation in general, I started using when I was about 16 years old. My mother, you know, as a kid, my mother always had Merle Norman makeup because we lived in a small town and we didn't have Chanel or, I don't know, Lancome or whatever near us. And we just had a little boutique and they had Merle Norman there. And that's kind of where I got introduced to it. My mom always had it. And so I would play in her stuff. Well, then when I turned about 16 and I was old enough to wear makeup, I had very acne-prone skin, and I wanted something that kind of gave me that coverage. And I remembered, you know, my mom's makeup. And I turned to this, the, the Ultra Powder Foundation, and it was great because I didn't break out from it. Um, it covered, you know, any splotchiness I had or whatever without being like a heavy foundation. So, I really enjoyed it. Now, as I got older, I strayed away from it. I've tried many things, but I always come back to it from time to time. I don't use it all year round because um, it just depends on what mood I'm in. But right now, as many of you know, I've been using the Makeup Forever um, Powder Foundation. and um, Or not powder. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Hello, Heather. But um, I've been using it, and it is a lighter coverage than what I prefer. To me, it's one of those just glowy, dewy foundations that just kind of make your skin look better, but doesn't really give you coverage. So I wanted something that I could still use that foundation, but on days when I'm going to be out for a long day or I'm going to be working for eight hours, I could have that extra coverage and have it last longer. And the product that I turned to was this. And um, it's in compact form and it comes with a little place for your little sponge. And then when you open it up, it has a mirror and your product. And I love this because I can put it over, you know, my Makeup Forever HD and it totally gives it that full coverage um, look and it lasts a long time. My only concern with this product is um, because it is in compact form and because you do get the coverage of a foundation, I would say be careful on how you apply it. If you apply too much or you apply it over a full coverage foundation or you know a heavy coverage foundation such as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, this will look cakey. But if you apply it correctly and you apply it with just the light hand and you're using it over like a tinted moisturizer, I think it would really be great. Um, it would really set your makeup and give you more coverage if that's what you're looking for. Just make sure you are very easy when you apply it because I have went a little overboard. I've been known to do that and be like, oh my gosh, I put way too much on because it just takes a little bit. Um, this product does retail for around $26 and 26 or 27 I think. And it used to come in like this nice big compact with a big mirror, you know, and I loved it. So I was kind of bummed when I found out that they changed to the smaller packaging, but oh well. But anyways, um, I really have always come back to it from time to time when I am struggling with finding a foundation that's giving me the coverage that I want or that's lasting as long as I want. I know that I can always, you know, turn back to this. I would just say be careful once again on how much you apply and like for touch up sometimes you have to be careful um, if you do need to touch up throughout the day you want to do it lightly because it, it is a compact form so you're going to get a lot of product. Um, 
but I've just always really, I've always come back to it here and there, and I felt like sharing it with you guys because I feel like if you are one that is looking for a powder foundation and you want that coverage, Merle Norman is the place to go. You're going to get that in a powder foundation with them, and my color is in cream. Um, it doesn't have any sunscreen in it, I don't think. I've never noticed any, like, um, I guess, uh, the white cast or whatever that you get from photos sometimes. I don't notice that with this. Um, it photographs well, and I will say it holds up well through the heat and everything. So I've been very, very pleased with it. I have never had any breakouts related from this product. Um, and I've tried other things by Merle Norman. Like I said, the, the lipsticks, I think, some eyeshadows. And it's a pretty good brand. It has star products that stand out. So if you have one near you, check them out. I think they really are a very underrated brand, I feel like. No one ever really mentions them. But um, another great, I want to throw this out here because another great powder foundation um, that I really like a little bit more is by Mary Kay. And Mary Kay has a mineral powder foundation. And if you have not tried that, and you are one like you like bare minerals and you like um, that sort of type of stuff, you will love this um, powder foundation. It's one of the best that I've tried as far as minerals go, especially. Um, the coverage is phenomenal. The colors are, are pretty good. I've, I've always gotten like a good color with them. And um, I don't know. It's just really, really nice. And... Um, I prefer it slightly better because it doesn't get cakey like a compact form can. Anytime you have loose powder, you know, sometimes you can distribute it a little bit better over your face. And it comes with a little brush that a lot of them do. You swirl and tap or whatever they tell you to do. But um, that part I like better because I feel like it is, it's easier to apply a lighter, um, a lighter hand, I guess, on your face. Like, because you can just get a little bit of product on your brush and then, you know, buff it in. Where this being in compact form, you really get a lot of, of product each time. So that part, um, I like better about the Mary Kay, and I think it would be better over, um, like, maybe a, a foundations that you're just, you're wanting to kind of set it more or less, and you're wanting to kind of even your skin out, or it can be like worn alone. Where this, I feel like, is going to give you a fuller coverage just because you're going to get a little bit more product off each time you use it. So those are the two kind of brands that I go to when I'm looking for a powder foundation. And if you have any suggestions of ones you want me to try, leave them in the comment section below and let me know what you all think or if you've tried any of these brands because these are great brands, Mary Kay and Merle Norman, that I feel like are very old school, but they still do have good products, you know, hit or miss. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you're having a great week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.